Safe searches are arguably one of NetSuite's most used features. Let's talk about the basic elements of a NetSuite saved search. First, you can create new saved searches by navigating either to reports, saved searches, all saved searches, new, or to lists, search, saved searches, new. On this page, you would select the record type that you want to base the saved search on. After naming the search, you are ready to define several key elements. First, you need to set the criteria for this search. The criteria are the boundaries of the search. You've already chosen the record type that the search will run on, and in the Criteria tab, you tell NetSuite which fields the search will focus on in those records. Once you choose a field under the Filter column, NetSuite will ask you to set a value for that field. One key criteria that you can filter by is the main line of transaction records. When you choose Mainline as one of your filters, then you can choose to have only the mainline details show up in your search by selecting Yes, or you can choose to have only the line item details show up in your search by selecting No. Once you have set the criteria, you determine how the results of the saved search will appear. For example, you can sort the results by different fields in either ascending or descending order. You can also determine which columns will appear in the search and the order of those columns. Under the sub-tab Drill Down Fields, you can decide which fields you want viewers of your search to be able to see more detailed data on. The Highlighting tab allows you to set conditional highlighting to help draw users' attention to specific fields in search results. The highlighting includes everything from inserting a specific image, to changing the text or background color, to making the text bold. Under the Available Filters tab, you decide how you want end users of the search to be able to filter through the results of the search. The filters you set here will appear in the top filter region of your search, allowing users to dynamically sort and filter the search. When you create a saved search, you also get to decide who in the company will have access to it and what level of access they will have. If you want this search to be available to all employees, you would select the public box directly under the search ID field. But if the search needs to be more limited, then you can choose the specific audience under the audience subtab. By default, a selected audience will just be able to view the search. If you want to grant full editing access, however, then select the checkbox Allow Audience to Edit. In both the criteria and the results subtabs, you can set specific formulas for your search. Formulas give you greater control over the data your search returns. To set a formula, you would need to select a filter under criteria or a field under results that is prefixed with formula. Formulas can be based on things like date, text, or currency, to name a few. After choosing the type of formula you need, you would set the exact values for your formula in the pop-up box. Whether you're creating saved searches or simply viewing them, setting your own search preferences allows you to view saved searches in the most beneficial way for you. You can find these preferences under the search section of Home, Set Preferences, Analytics. One preference that is especially important to consider is the checkbox Show List when only one result. By default, when there is only one result in a saved search, NetSuite will pull up that record rather than showing the record in the list view. Turning on this preference, therefore, ensures that when there is only one result, NetSuite will still pull up the result in the list view. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by hitting the like button. And to learn more about how SuiteRep can help you with all of your NetSuite needs, visit us at SuiteRep.com.